Well, the sell-off in Asia is mostly due to the massive losses that we saw in Wall Street overnight. The Dow fell 733 points. That's nearly 8%. Half of which happened in the last hour of trading. The Nasdaq shed eight and a half percent, and the S&P 500 plunged more than nine percent yesterday. Both the Dow and the S&P 500 suffered their biggest percentage loss since the Black Monday crash in October of 1987. The reason why investors very worried that a severe recession is unavoidable in the United States. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke gave a bleak outlook for the economy, saying it will take time for credit markets to unfreeze. But he also warned. Warned that the economy will be slow to rebound from the present financial crisis. Stabilization of the financial markets is a critical first step, but even if they stabilize, as we hope they will, broader economic recovery will not happen right away. Adding to the gloom and doom, data showing U.S. retail sales dropped 1.2 percent in September, the most in more than three years. We also had wholesale inflation numbers coming in. PPI was in line with market forecasts, but core PPI, interesting here, if you strip out food and energy, it was actually twice the rate economists had expected, suggesting that core inflation, at least, is deeply entrenched in the U.S. economy. All at the same time that recession fears are being intensified right now, especially after the Fed's Beijing report came out saying that economic Activity weakened across the United States in September. Well, this comes as businesses revise capital investments and consumers cut back on spending. That is the economic outlook and the economic picture that these two presidential candidates were presented with as they headed into the last three weeks of the final campaign stretch. Here, let's get more on the debate analysis right now with Hans Vrins. He's vice chairman Asia of APCO Worldwide. He joins me here on set. We also have Michael Tanner, senior fellow at the Cato Institute, on the line from Washington. And Michael, let me throw this first question out to you. Senator McCain comes into this last of the three debates、uh, trailing Senator Obama in the opinion polls.、Uh, he was expected to come out much more aggressive in attacking Senator Obama and his policies. Do you think he did that job? Well, he certainly was much more aggressive tonight. I actually think this was probably、uh, Senator McCain's best debate. It, it may have been the only debate that he won. Uh, I thought Senator Obama was、uh, curiously flat, especially for the first half of the debate tonight.、Uh, but I don't know that、uh, Senator McCain did enough to turn the election around.、Uh, certainly, there was no knockout blow. There, there seldom is in these debates.、Uh, he may have set up the themes that he can use in the last three weeks of the campaign.、Uh, I thought he was particularly aggressive on the、uh, on the economy, on taxes,、uh, on big spending in Washington. These are themes that、uh, he should be able to play on in the last three weeks,、uh, but I don't know if it's enough to overcome Obama's lead. And Hans, let me throw this question at you: When you compare the both the performances,、uh, how do you think this debate shaped up in terms of final voter impressions?、Um, I think that、uh, was a clear difference how the two candidates、uh, behaved. I thought that uh, uh, Senator Obama behaved very presidential. While Senator McCain was really trying to score points, but I, it was my impression he was not very successful at it. Only、uh, it sounded almost desperate at some points. Well, you really saw Senator Obama addressing the American people and trying to explain his policies, very simple and clear terms. It was mainly、uh, Senator McCain trying to attack、uh, Senator Obama. And、uh, Michael, we've got three weeks left before Americans go to the polls. What still can be done, or needs to be done, by both these campaigns if they want to clinch、uh, the victory? Well, I think、uh, for Senator Obama, it's largely steady as she goes. I mean, he's in the lead. He wants to avoid any mistakes、uh, in the next couple of weeks and, and maintain what he's doing. He has not had a history of being a good closer. If you look back to the primaries. Uh, undecided voters tended to swing against him in the primaries,、uh, so he can't be complacent about the leads he's showing right now. For Senator McCain, I think if he's got to get off these sort of、uh, sidetrack issues about William Ayers and all of these things, and get back onto the attack on the economy, that Senator Obama is very much the left、uh, of the American political spectrum in favor of higher taxes, more government spending, more regulation. And I, I think that that's the message he's got to try to drive home in the next three weeks. And Hans,、uh, the economy certainly was、uh, first and foremost for both of these candidates in this debate, not just this one, but in the previous debates as well. Do you think in the last three weeks, or in these next three weeks, I should say, the last three weeks of the campaign, that Senator McCain 
can capture the economy as his main selling point in a way that Senator Obama has been able to do so. Uh, so far, he has made clear it's not his favorite topic. As we also saw tonight, it's, it's very difficult for him to really distance himself from eight years of, as Senator Obama says, failed economic policies by the Bush administration. So I think it will be very difficult for him to really score a decisive victory on the economy. Do you think that as long as we are in this market turmoil right now, that only helps Senator Obama versus Senator McCain then? I think that's very clear. As we have seen in the opinion polls, the, uh, Obama really shot ahead after the uh, financial turmoil uh, started. So this is clearly helping Senator Obama. And Michael, do you think if we get some kind of turnaround in the financial markets worldwide, that that could help Senator McCain's uh, campaign here? Yeah, well, actually, it probably would. Uh, the the voting public tends to have a very short memory. Uh, three weeks is a long time in politics. If the week before the uh, election the markets are up all week, that could have an impact. Uh, but the fact is that uh, the party in power is usually blamed for bad economic times, whether or not they're responsible for it. So voters uh, voters are tending to punish Republicans right now, uh, and uh, that's the tough trend to overcome. Okay, I'm going to put you both on the spot right now. Uh, Hans, are you willing to make a call on who you think is going to win the election? Although I agree with Michael that three weeks is a long time in politics. It's, uh, it's difficult to see uh, how uh, Senator Obama can lose this election. Okay, and Michael, are you willing to, uh, uh, to put your neck out there and, and give a, a call? Well, if the election were held today, Senator Obama would clearly win. Uh, there are three weeks. Things can change. It, it, it is probably about a four or five point lead according to the most reliable polls right now. That is something Senator McCain can overcome, but he's really going to have to change the terms of the debate, something he hasn't been able to do so far. All right, gentlemen, thank you both for joining us today. Michael Tanner, Senior Fellow at the Cato Institute, and Hans Rins, Vice Chairman Asia of APCO Worldwide. Thank you for joining us.